Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast and the problem reads uh, determine the horizontal and vertical components of uh, the reaction at C who we'll says C, A and B. Right, and this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook 13th edition by R.C. Ibella. We have a frame uh, that is uh, made out of two members. We have member AB and member AB is a two-force member. Okay. Member AB is a two-force member. And by two-force member, we mean this is a member that has only two forces at two locations of that particular member. It has only two forces, no moments, two forces at two locations of that member. And uh, the magnitudes of those two forces at the two locations are equal. The magnitudes are equal, they are collinear, and they are opposite in direction. The magnitudes of uh, the two forces are equal, they are opposite in direction, and they are collinear. So having identified that, that makes the problem much simpler. So let's draw the free body diagram. So we expect, um, or we assume, let's assume we are going to have uh, a reaction force there okay that is collinear to point A and B so let's call this is a force AB okay all right but we know the slope the slope is going to be equal to uh, the run divided by the rise the run divided by the run okay the run divided by I mean the run we have the run and then we have the rise and then we need to find the hypotenuse so 4 squared uh, plus 3 squared that's 25 root of 25 is 5 okay so we have our slope like that great so with that slope it means we can find the two components for this particular uh, reaction force there so this is going to be equal to let me just elongate this a little bit Sorry. Like so. Okay. So this is our AB. And then this one here is going to be equal to AB times the rise over the hypotenuse. And then we have another one there like so. This is AB times the run divided by the hypotenuse. And then here are the hinge. Okay. Even when these are two hinges, A also is a hinge. But because AB is a two force member, we only have one reaction force. That will have components, of course. Uh, BC is not a two force member, okay. Therefore, here we expect to write this like this, okay. There is no problem also if at A you said AX and AY, okay. The only thing is you just increase the work, right? Because if you knew that AB was a two force member, then you can just represent this using just the one single force like that. We know that force A is going to be equal to force B, which is going to be equal to AB. Okay. 
So is there a need of partitioning this? Um, there is no need per se of partitioning this because we can directly apply the equations of equilibrium and find what AB is, later on find CY and CX. But if the number of uh, the unknown, uh, if the number of uh, the unknowns were more than uh, the available equations of equilibrium, then we could have been forced to uh, disassemble this particular structure so that uh, we effectively apply the equations of equilibrium. I repeat myself. Can we work on this problem directly the way it is? Yes. Why? Because the number of unknowns okay are equal to the number of uh, the equations of equilibrium therefore we can find the unknowns effectively and directly if we apply the equations of equilibrium but if the number of unknowns were more than the number of the available equations of equilibrium then we could have been forced we could have gone directly to disassemble the structure so that we effectively apply the equations of equilibrium. Okay. Right. So let's go ahead and apply the equations of equilibrium. So we'll say summation of moments about point C equal to zero and clockwise being our reference. Mm -hmm. What do we have? So we have a uh, Positive moment due to 500, 500 by 3, uh, plus 400 uh, by 6, okay, minus AB, AB 4 over 5 times the liver arm, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, so this gives us a 12 by 12 okay and then plus a b uh, 3 over 5 by uh, 4 equal to 0 therefore our a b is going to be equal to grab your calculator uh, what do we have so we have a uh, uh, minus 4 over 5 times 12 plus 3 over 5 times 4 we have that and then later on we have 500 times 3 plus 400 by 6 then we divide by that so our AB is a 541.6 7 pounds Let's check it again. 500 by 3 plus 400 by 6. Okay, then divided by minus 4 over 5 by 12. Then plus 3 over 5 by 4. 541.67. Great. So let's find the other components. So we have summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero okay so what do we have we have um a b uh, four over five plus c y minus four hundred minus 500 equal to 0. We've already found what AB is. So we just replace it there. And once we do so, we'll find that our, C, our CY will just be equal to um, our CY is, so we have 541.67 by 4 over 5 um, minus 400 minus 500 so this gives us a 4 
466.467 pounds. Let me repeat this. I check it again. Um, the 541.67 by 4 over 5 minus 400 minus 500. Okay. Uh, all right. 4667. All right. So if I use just that one, the one that I used was not rounded off that's the reason it gave me a six seven there rounded off it's giving me that particular value so let me write that one all right and then finally we have summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero in this direction like so what we have we have a b uh, by 3 over 5 uh, what else uh, we have uh, plus cy cx equal to 0 okay so when we do our calculation for cx we find that our cx our cx our cx is going to be equal to minus that's 4 uh, 541.67 times 3 over 5 so this gives us a minus 325 right so the minus just means this sign here changes it goes in like so so this is equal to 325 cy is equal to a 466.6 six okay let me just move this there and then a b we found a b to be equal to we found a b to be equal to uh 541.67 and then this component here 541.67 by 4 over 5 this is equal to 433.34 and then this other component here that's 541.67 by 3 over 5 this is a 325 right of course in the y secrebriating as well as in the x and of course we said this is equal to 541.67 right so finally if we are to outline the solutions we have a b uh, for the two force member and this in compression we have c y okay and then we have c x all right this is in pounds we have CX right we have CX like that great so this is really about it this is really about it uh, this is really about it and uh, if you wanted to show how this member behaves here it a b itself if we wanted to draw this separately to just check on how this behaves we can draw it for uh, we can draw it for you here so that i uh, just check on uh, if we separated how this would behave so if we drew it this is how this would behave something like that okay so we have Let's say there we have B, then there we have C, then we have these two forces here. Okay, we have these two forces here. 
um so let's call this is our b this one is our c okay and then this also is uh, our other structure they are like so great so this is how it's going to be we have a 400 there we have a 500 there then at C we are saying we have this component here that we just found which is a 325 and then uh, of course this is C this is C then we do have another component there that we found as 466.66 then here we are saying this this is connected to this is connected to uh, the uh, the is connected to to force member we we'll just have one reaction force like this which is a b and this reaction force we say it is equal to uh, this reaction force we say it is equal to uh, a b which is equal to a 5 41.67 it, it will have components and so is the same one there and this point is b okay and we'll have it also there at this point which we are calling a so this is also our a b which is equal to a 541.67 so basically this is how the structure will look you can add the dimensions uh, just wanted to show you how the structure will basically look so we have a member a b in compression and uh, the rest of uh, and the other structure the beam of course we expect all other internal forces to be there which are axial shear as well as moment while a b only have axial because it's a two force straight uh, member all right i think i hope the video was helpful i hope the video was helpful if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and uh, see you in my next uh, screen